Uh, yo, what's going on? I want to welcome everybody to Coffee Conversation. This is a new platform. I'm your host, Rudy P. Some of y'all might know me from my Coffee and Donuts podcast, but this is a little spinoff podcast where I can bring people in that I respect, got love for, and they got stuff that want to get promoted. So why not get promoted by me? Rudy, you know what I'm saying? So bring it to the stage. I got my partner, my brother, my friend, man. Oh, yeah. And, Anything you get, anything you want to call him, man, Mr. Ace, you know what I'm saying? my boy, my homie, New Jay. the great one, the middle, hey, man. the legend, hey. Hey. the vision, Three man. Strong, man. let's get it, Three man. Strong. How you yeah, doing, bro? You, bro? How you doing, man? We cooling, man. We cooling in these coronavirus times, man. Trying to make it happen, man. You know how it goes. Stay prayed up and keep that face covered, man. Keep disinfecting yourself. Yeah, man. man you gotta keep that social distance, man. You gotta, you know what I mean? You gotta follow yeah, back. That's why we're doing the video like we're doing because, you know what I'm saying? Normally, me and you, we be right here face to face chopping it up, man. You know what I'm saying? Sitting yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sitting out eating some, some good food, you know what I'm saying? Get some good laughs, you know what I'm saying? Because all the time. That's, that's what we do, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All the time, but, um, bro. Man, you're my first guest on my on my new um platform, you know, the coffee. I appreciate you too for that, bro. We, we sit down, we we conversate, man. We we talk about some things. We got a lot of things going on, man. Let's let's get our promotion on. What you got going on, bro? Uh man, got a lot going on right now, man. Um we're pushing these singles, man. You know, I got the new Baby's Kids single, man, that dropped, man, and uh that thing right there is rolling pretty hard for me, man. It's catching groove and all. All across the nation, man, here and there in spots, and we just trying to connect the dots and uh, make it do what it do, man. Um, I dropped three singles so far, and that's my third one. Originally, I dropped the uh, the uh, Picky Choosy Visual single. I didn't distribute that. It didn't come out for people to download. It's, it's probably going to make the Mutate album. And I second after that, I dropped the Pa. You know what I'm saying? That thing was rocking for a little while. And then uh, I dropped the, the Bay Bay's kid, and that, that right there is the one that's going because, you know, I am Bay Bay's illegitimate child, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. She left me out, man. She took, you know, at the Pee Wee, man, she didn't want to talk about me. So, you know what I'm saying? I was the fly one, though, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, was trying, she was trying to hide you. She didn't want nobody to know about you, huh? Yeah, she didn't want nobody to know about me, man. I was the one that was acting right and getting getting all the money. You know, oh, she wanted to show all her broke kids. <laughs> so you got, um, you say you got Pa. Tell mm -hmm. us about Pa. Tell us about the Pa. Oh, Pa, man, it's a rec uh, record that I was blessed to get produced by um the good brother Jetson May, who produces a lot of uh, the babies' records, man. And uh, you know, we linked up, man, and uh, you know, chopped it up and put it together, and and we had and made Pa, man. And pa is a record that represents the nine one zero of North Carolina. We felt like that. All parts of North Carolina has got different little pockets, man, but we got the culture over here. You know what I'm saying? Right. We got the pa, you know, the Indian culture with uh, the, the, my people out in Robinson County and all that. Their culture, they got a certain slang, and that slang spilled over on us. That's where you get the bow from and, uh, and the pa, and you know what I'm saying, the daddy and all that. That's where you get all that from. So it's like that's what, that's what I wanted to put on show to the world, man. I created the record called Pa. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're going up on it. Get daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, man. Get shout out to shout out to my Indian family, man, out there, Rob Cole. You know how yeah. we rock. Shout out to my Indian family out there in uh Scotland County, you feel me? Scotland County, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was out there with them for a good little while. But yeah, man, so you know, for everybody who don't know, me and three D been rocking before three D was three D. If y'all if y'all know what that means. He oh yeah, man. Yeah, we were rock, we were rocking there. I don't know if it's gonna come up right. We were rocking there. We straw thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> even even pre week straw. I'm like pre pre pre. I'm like in the beginning there was quad in the fourth link. You know what I'm saying? I, oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I can't. I yeah, can't that was, around that time. The Q four. Yeah, that, 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 that was the original name. Straw, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that was um, the original name. Shout out to uh Dark Waters and my my original brothers, man, in this music game, man. Doc, the one thing about music. Sometimes you'll meet people before you meet people. Right. I was, I was hearing about this group, Dark Waters. Dark Waters. Right. I was in Alabama. Right. What Earl was up there, he was like, Dark. He was like, you remember, you remember, you remember Century? I'm like, yeah. He, like, he in a group called Dark Water. They got an mm -hmm. album drop. And I'm like, man, get me a copy. I want to check it out. 
Right. He got he got a copy, but it never made it to me. So, but uh, you I, didn't I get it. Like, I met y'all like the year and the next year when I moved up here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we've, been we've been rocking there since, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh the yeah. Music, the music bring a lot of people together, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, all the time, bro. All the time. So, um, a little something I always, I always want to tell you, man. Like I tell, I tell you this in private all the time, but I want to give you this public mm -hmm. praise real quick. You know what I'm saying? Okay. A lot of a lot of ways I approached the independent grind was stuff that I saw you do first. I, I appreciate it, man. Hey, look, I mean, and like I like I was saying, I was on live the other day, man. I was telling uh. A lot of a lot of my people that was on there, man. I was shouting out Rolling Weight. I said, man, we gotta give brothers they uh, flowers when they can smell them, right? Because a lot of times, man, we wait till like 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 the whole Nipsey Hustle situation. We wait till a nigga die, then we like, oh man, that nigga was the truth, and then yeah. you know we can't do nothing about it. So um, yeah, I appreciate that coming from you, man. It's it's it's, it's a big thing, man, mm -hmm. and uh, you know you know how we rock, man. We brothers from another, man. Yeah, I'm like. You the first person I knew personally to ever drop a double disc. You know what I'm saying? Independent. Talk to him. Double disc. You know I'm going way back. You dropped the double disc. Talk, talk to him, stores. man. Let, let him know. Let him know. Don't say <laughs> that's what I'm it was in stores. This man, yeah. I was I was living in Moore County. This man did not live in Moore County. His album nope. was in stores in Moore County in Sam Goody. Uh huh. Yeah. Early. You know, what, 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 on you, uh huh. I could, but me, I already had the city because I bought it from. You came to my job, like yo, we got the new Tri City compilation. Uh huh. Here. Yeah, yeah. Cause, cause see, well, back then, man, I, I would, I would, I would um, get it distributed on consignment, man. I would go to like store to store, work a deal. Cause my first album and project I ever brought out with my brothers, Dark Waters, man. Uh, way, way back in the yay. Uh. We, I, I had uh, that's what CDs was like new to be recorded on back then, and uh, yeah, I was yeah. young as hell, so I used to have to buy four, buy a pack of ten for four dollars a CD. So I would, I would uh, pay the DJ. I forgot his name up in um, Southern Pines. It was a DJ that used to burn CDs, and uh, I would give him forty dollars, man, and uh, get ten of them and put them in the buck stop right across from my high school, and uh, them shits would sell out like like hotcakes every day. So yeah. I would make a cool hundred twenty, you know. Saying I take take get ten more and do it all over again, man. And that's how we got started with that thing. Yeah, we that's, promote, how, that's, how, that's how I was doing with the um. That's how I was doing with the with the t shirts at first. You know, what I'm saying I I get the t shirts, mm -hmm. pay for them, flip them, buy some more, mm -hmm. flip them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's it's, how you it's do all it. about it's a hustle, man. But it's a it's a structure hustle. A lot of people hustle without structure. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Oh, I, I just bought the T-shirts. I just made the money. I'm out the game. You I'm out the game. game. <laughs> I'm like, nah, you ain't even in the stadium yet, dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm keep right. On, keep on coming with it. But, man, tell yes, us about you. I see, you got, I see you got the coronavirus mask on, man. Tell us a little bit more about your mask. It's kind of unique, man. Oh, uh, man, well, this, this is the this the, the Gucci, Gucci Mickey Mouse collaboration mask, man. It costs a little chunk of change, man. You know, my, my wife, she... I mean, I, you know, I had to, you know, I got a little deal where I get fabrics and from the Italian people out there. So she makes the mask. You know, everybody can go to dominoswishes.com if y'all want a, a mask, man. They start at $5, man, and y'all want to stay safe, man. Go to dominoswishes.com, man, and, and she'll hook y'all up, man. But uh, this right here was an exclusively made one because I got some high relationships in small places, if you should say. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. If y'all hear, hear some gunshots and stuff, I'm I'm not in preacher right now. I'm, I'm close to a military base, so that's, that's them uh, <laughs> shooting on. I'm used to it. I grew up around this. That that that's my lullaby of gunshots at nighttime. But anyway, mm -hmm. we got a, um we got three singles out, so you must be gearing up for a new project, man. I know you got a new project on deck. Let me know. Something. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. I got the mutate mutate the three D Straw Adventures project that hopefully I can bring it out. Whoa, by whoa, Memorial whoa, 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 Weekend. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Run that name back one more time. I don't think it heard you the first time. Run oh, it's name. called it's called Mutate the 3D Straw Adventures, bro. Uh, I wanted to do it more like more epic, more like a Marvel cinematic type universe type release, and um, 
And we went with, you know, me and my team, we thought about it, and we went with that title, man. They said, you might as well go, because you always said, ooh, mutate, because that's my little tag or whatnot. And uh, they said, you might as well roll with that mutate, man, and make, because I already had the ooze music series, which I'm not done with that. I still got one more installment of that, but that might come 2021, something like that. Be, but right now, be, I'm having uh, fun with Music 3. Yeah, it's going to be called Ooze Music 3D. You know what I'm saying? It'll be, third, it'll be the third installment. Third and last. Third and last of that series. Yep. Yeah. And, um, that's, that's, that's yeah, it'll complete the music. about an old project for a second, man. I hold. Okay. Your, Which one? Some of your projects that you dropped, I hold kind of personally to my, I don't want to say they're my favorites, but they all like, like my nieces and nephews, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to pick one that you love more than the other. Mm -hmm. But a lot, of, a lot of people love this particular project. Let's go back and talk about uh, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, how it changed the game. <laughs> In oh North man! Carolina independently, bro. Yeah, Snap Crackle and Pop. That's my baby, man. That's like, that's the one that, that's the transition one that lifted me off. That's the one that turned me into 3D Straw, even though it was Wheat Straw on the title. You know what I'm saying? Right. Wheat Straw presents Snap Crackle and Pop, and then I, you know, that's the first one I pressed up fully with real pressed CDs. I had enough money to do that then. Um. I went down to my boy Faison, and I got some. I soaked up some game from my Charleston, Carolina boys, man, down that way, South Carolina boys, and they they just they hustled different from the people that was up here in North Carolina, cause you know it was just a lot of shit going on differently. So I wanted right. to go deeper south, so I went down there in Charleston, South Carolina, man, and them boys put me on a lot of game. Shout out to my Charleston, Car Carolina niggas, Faison, Marley Mar, DJ Chuck T. Y'all niggas, them niggas right there put me on game early, man. And, um, you know, I brought it back to the Carolinas. And Faze on the one made designed that graphic. And that graphic was inspired by, um, I don't know if nobody know, but that graphic was inspired by uh, Little Flip. You know what I'm saying? Because I felt like that was the most unique cover I had ever seen in my life when I first seen the Little Flip, Lucky Charms, uh, that junk. The Leprechaun. The, the Leprechaun. So I said, man, fuck that, man. I eat rice, I eat rice Krispies, man. Let me drop a snap, crack, and pop, and throw the bullets in the bowl and everything like that. Yeah, that was and awesome. it was just a collaboration of different people that inspired me. Like Little Flip inspired me with with um the Leprechaun joke. And then I said, shit, I want I want that thing to look like Chopper City in the ghetto. That's where the bullets come from. Right. So I put right, the bullets right. in the bowl. You see what I'm saying? A lot yeah. of folk don't know that, man. And and okay. I knew nobody was like really, really Dang. doing it like that in my area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they um, I know they won't doing that in North Carolina in my in my area. The now one oh, going hard like that with the graphics. So I got that, got my joints pressed up, got some posters. I start painting the city with them, man. Painting the city with flies, painting the city with posters all over flagpoles. And I had the biggest poster any independent artist probably had back then in Paradise Records. That joint was sit right there. So I, for those, I had a little. For those who don't know, bro, give him a look. Give him a little brief history lesson on Paradise, real quick. Oh, Paradise Record was in Fayetteville, right off of McPherson Church Road in Scabo. And then it was right beside uh Miami Sub Subs, the restaurant, man, which they only exist in Florida right now. But uh, <laughs> that was the hub. That was one of the main hubs in Fayetteville for independent records to be sold. And that was one of the few hubs in Fayetteville that you could put consignment records out. They had a whole consignment section for independence. Right. And um, man, I lived in there, man. And one of my partners, um, Shanita, two six, she uh, she was in there working. She used to work in there, man. And uh, you know, it was a good times, man. And uh, a lot of people made their name out of that store, man. I, I miss that store. Shout out to sis, man. Shout out to Nita two six, man. What up, sis? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, she go hard body, man. Shout out to Definitely. Fantasia. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shout out to Fantasia, man. That's uh huh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I tell people all the time, my memory sometimes is a gift and a curse. I remember everything, dog. Oh well, yeah. All of it ain't funny, but a lot of it is good times, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, a lot of people, a lot of people might not know that also that you. You're involved in sports too. Tell me about your sports involvement. Yeah, man. Um, I coach rec league since uh, how how old is my son now? He about to be 14. Since he was uh seven years old, and then I said, you know what? I'm gonna start me uh, a AAU team. So then I went with Wood Boy, but Wood Boy Lee, and that was a, 
a pretty dope team, man. Everybody loved me. And uh, I loved, loved all the boys I coached, man. And then I stopped for a little while, and then I came back, and I joined forces with uh, Coach Monroe. And I just wanted to coach some kids and uh, with the Taken by Force program. And uh, I, I let my, my team sit to the back. We might bring it back, you know, in their high school years or something like that. But, uh, yeah, man, I like, I like giving back to the kids. I like sharing my knowledge of the game with them, what, what little bit I know. And, you know, one thing for certain, I know how to hustle. And that's what I try to instill with them, brotherhood and hustle, man. So yeah, we got that yeah, cracker, man. and you like you and you assisted me on some coaching. That little bit of season we had, man, before Corona came in and killed it. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Get, but we're you getting know, it in. we're getting them boys right. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'll man. Get, Shout my, out to I'll my boys, my man. Love y'all, boys, man. I'm getting that fifth yeah, yeah. big man. He was banging me up after a while. Yeah, man. man. But, yeah, um, shout out to my boys, man. Love y'all boys, man. Y'all stay on this shit, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all be safe out there, man. When you get a chance, get them, get them jump shots up, man. I'm late. Welcome to late. Well, like you said, like happy birthday, birthday, Elijah, man. You know what I'm saying? EJ. Happy birthday, E, Big E. What up, E? Happy yeah. birthday to you. Elijah Ross. Mm hmm But yeah, man, man. You know me, bro. I'm always, I'm always proud of you, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, like I said earlier, a lot of stuff that you did influenced the way I do stuff. Because when you released, um, what project was it? Uh, the project with the the dude, like the little garbage pail kid dude on the front. Digital 3D. Digital 3D. Okay, you remember when we when we did the double the double? No, it wasn't digital 3D. It was uh, wood fire. Oh, the wood fire project. That group, the group. Me, Red Venom, and Yodo. Me, Red Venom, and Yodo, man. Crazy. Me, Red Venom, and Yodo, the Yodo show. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But I was in Alabama hustling them CDs along with my past, present, and future mixtape. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Yeah, man. I remember I used to call you up. We doing a double promo. Like, hey, you buy this one, you get this one with it. Yeah, and shit, man. You said I had pretty good feedback down there in Alabama. Yeah. Mm hmm. I remember that. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was, a lot of people fail to realize you can get a lot more accomplished if you put your pride to the side. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That is a like, fact, man. Me, I'm a rapper. My bro 3D a rapper. Mm -hmm. We ain't got we ain't got to get on every song with each other to support each other. You know what I'm saying? If he got a show, I'm pulling up to the show. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding yeah, man. to the show. He's going to ride with me to the show, vice versa. We no doubt, man. Yeah, I done pulled up. Up in, I done pull, pulled up in NC State at your shows, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We done, we done yeah, right. That's we documented, done too. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah, I remember them days, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, he, he ain't performed. His brother came. You know what I'm saying? I had Yodo Rock with me. You know what I'm saying? But they came mm -hmm. out all, all the way to Riley, man. So, and we had a ball. <laughs> we had a like, ball. You don't, you don't really know what your... What your fan base like till you get out there and start touching them people, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause like right. I, when I was going when I was going to Riley, it's like this this this, this was my this was my pre look, this is my pre Rudy P days, you know what I'm saying? So this was mm -hmm. like the mouth it was the mouthpiece era. Was, mouthpiece, oh, yeah, like, mouth to the side. Mouthpiece, yeah, I'm like, whoa, I'm tripping. Like they they were hyped that I was definitely saw me at other spots in Riley, you know what I'm saying? And, the, yeah, I and that's I what I did the poor house. I didn't did this, yeah, this that's the magic of people don't understand, bro. People don't understand. That's the magic of this thing, man. Cats don't want to hustle. They don't want to work, man. If you want, if you want to get yourself out there, man. Any, any kid in here, anybody that's gonna see this, man. That's an artist, man. You gotta touch the people, man. Nowadays, you gotta touch the people through the internet. You gotta touch the people through social media. You know what I'm saying? That's what they call impressions, man. The more you engage and touch people, and support others, man. The algorithm shows the love back. It's the same as the streets. When you show love to others, it'll come back. Positivity, you throw positivity out, it'll come back. It's the same thing over and over again. But you got to hustle. And you got to lose all your sleep, man. You know, ain't no hustler ever been comfortable. Yeah. No hustler ever been comfortable, man. You got to lose that sleep. You got to grind 25-8. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it go. It's no other way around it, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have longevity. And you gotta doggone be persistent, man, and be different. Yeah. If you don't work, you don't eat. Y'all know the rest. That's right. You gotta be different, man. You gotta you gotta have a smooth, different brand, man. 
Like I was saying on my live the other day, man, I'm like, shit, I'm the poster child for a doggone showing out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit I did. Nobody ain't want to come out there like I did, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why I was talking about these, these uh, you know, certain lists people put out for the Carolinas, man. Y'all got to put them out proper, man, but that's another subject. Man, them, them top 10 lists, man, ain't nothing but just the devil, the devil's idle mind, man. Just want to stir the people up. Because I see, I see it happening in Alabama. They talk, they be like, oh, we just dropped the top 10 rappers in Mobile or whatever. And everybody like, mm -hmm. I don't know who that is. On, so they just like, it's an ego trip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's called the top it's friends like, list. That's the MySpace list, your top friends list. Yeah, top friends. You know, who I, who <laughs> I love That's right. Um, it ain't really, it ain't really off the real shit. So you know what I'm saying? You got you got the um the music come, you got the album come, you got the singles out. You and your mm -hmm. wife, y'all got y'all got the mask, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I heard in the streets inside the information, because you know what I'm saying, I'm bro, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. I heard I heard you got some kicks out here in these streets. If y'all know what kicks Oh I'm yeah. Some yeah, sneakers. man. Uh huh. Some yeah, I know man. you. You a big sneakerhead, dog. I remember, yeah, man. I got. I just um, released the mutate one highs, man. Um, it's it's been a dream of mine to release those sneakers, man. I want to just do it, and uh, a lot of people wanted me to release a basketball sneaker because I'm a basketball coach too, mm -hmm. and I would I like to train like kids that want to be working out and everything. But I said, man, it take a lot of money to create a good basketball shoe. Right. So whenever I when I get to that level of creating that basketball shoe, you know, I'm going to do it on a big money level, man, so I can compete with the Nikes and, and the doggone Adidas and all that of the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I came out with a smooth uh, Chuck Taylor style canvas sneaker so people can cool out and just chill in, man, slip on, slip off. And um, when they say the Mutate One Highs, it's not about high top. It's about, you know, high. You know what I'm saying? Introducing oh. myself. You know what I'm saying? So that's what... um. I brought them out and um, they come in all sizes except for big man sizes. We stop at 13, you know what I'm saying? But look, big man, when I get my weight up, for sure. I'm going to have a size 15, 14, all the way up to 20, 20, whatever, man. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Hey. You gonna get to the I'll bigger top. I buy that thirteen, and man, I will put it on. I put it on on the mantelpiece, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. I appreciate it'll be, it'll you. It'll be a piece of art, like I'm hanging up a piece of art on my wall. You know what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. all it's all it's all about the support right now. Appreciate you. It'll, it'll be it'll, it'll definitely be a conversation piece. Somebody walk in like, why you got them shoes right there in the case? I'm like, oh, let me tell you the story about those shoes. Then you know what I'm saying? Whole mm -hmm. conversation started. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. but yeah, man. So we got. We got shoes. We got music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got masks. You know what I'm saying? What else we what else we missing? Three? What else we got, bro? What else? Oh what else man, we you know, uh, oh, we got, we got a few. Can't forget about the basketball. Shout out to the Yeah, I got to, I got to, you know, I like to give back and everything. Uh gonna be doing some things gonna be announced this week. I gotta get with some people before it's out the bag. But it's gonna be doing it's gonna be a revolving around helping some of the people out in the community. That, you know, some of the um, local businesses and the healthcare workers and stuff like that. We might have something down the pipeline coming soon with that. So uh, y'all stay tuned. I might be going live. It's going to be similar to something like a a marathon type thing, helping raise money for the healthcare workers and the um and, and the small businesses that's lost their customers and stuff like that and lost their, you know, saying their time due to the coronavirus. So right. we're going to be doing something on that. Um, my old Wood Boy Digital Entertainment Company. We're going to be. Rocking with that and trying to help the calls out with that right there, so y'all just stay tuned for that, you know. And, and I, I was also, talking to you earlier, man. Tell them what you got going on there on ten o'clock, man. Oh yeah, ten o'clock, man. I got the. I uh, want everybody to come through. Y'all share it, whoever's in. Y'all make sure y'all go through and watch uh, uh, DJ Cutthroats live, man. I'm debuting my single, Baby's Kid. Since it did doing so good in North South Carolina, I said I'm a debut at nine in Atlanta through DJ Cutthroat, and he's gonna be doing a live music review. Live music, and if he loves it, man, uh, he gonna put me on his um, new mixtape, man. DJ Cutthroat is major, man. He the one broke Rich Homie Quan, and uh, he the one he was DJ for Rollo. You know what I'm saying? Free Wild, Free Rollo, and uh, you know he gonna give your boy a shot, man. He fought with the Carolinas real heavy, so he gonna give your boy a shot, man. We're gonna do the music review tonight, and Baby's Kids is the song we gonna roll with, so. It's a lot of it's a lot of dope artists in North Carolina, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been in and out the scene for for a long time, you know what I'm saying? Bobbing and weaving in and out that Carolina. Mm -hmm. It always been some slept on, very dope artists. 
I ain't gonna name no name because if I leave somebody out, they might feel offended. I don't want to offend nobody, but you know who you are. You dope. You dope. I ain't gotta tell you, but you dope. Well, yeah, man. For one, we can go like this. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to, shout out to the baby. The baby. Shout out to J Cole. J. Cole. Shout out to uh, Rennie Rucci down in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? She doing her thing major. Shout out to uh, Luke Rap. Nasty. Shout out to Rhapsody, ninth one of that whole movement. Shout out to my boy Ski Money out the 252. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to, uh, what's my name, uh, Colonel Lyle. Shout out to uh, Rolling Weight down here in the 910 legend. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, all, my, all, my, all my 910 legends, man. Shout out to all y'all P5. Uh, shout out to my, my, my little brother, Dub Magic, doing the big. Doing the production down in down in Miami, you know, I mean my down in Atlanta, and uh, shout out to him. I talked to him the other day slightly, man. We about to do some work together. Shout out to Madrina, Madrina Sosa, and her whole movement. Um, you know, shout out to everybody, man. That's moving that thing the right way for the Carolinas, man. You know what I'm saying, North South Carolina, man. Shout back out to on, Fat Dave. Your, um, shout out to back, Stunner. Back to your project, though, bro. I didn't mean to cut y'all. I apologize about that, but back to your you project. Right? Uh, Mm -hmm. Who's some producers you working with? I know it ain't the album ain't done yet, but who who you working with producer wise, and who would you like to work with um, producer wise on this project? First, uh, first and foremost, I'm working with. I mean, I like to work with whoever want to work with me. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing. You know, so I don't really have no dreams other than the normal Dr. Dre, Timberland, Neptune, uh, Pharrell, them them legends like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't really got no. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Shout out to um, Jetson May. He did some shit on here. Uh, shout out to my boy uh, AK Play That. He did some shit on there, man. He doing a lot on there. And uh, shout out to Paven. You know what I'm saying? Paven out in the, in the Baltimore area, man. He did some shit on there. And, uh, shout out to some of my engineers, man. Uh, low key, uh, Rolling Weight engineers, some shit on here. A lot of shits on here, man. Uh, AK Play That. He did some engineering on here, man. Uh, uh, I'm probably gonna do some work with Hook, my boy Hook, man. He gonna do some stuff on here, man. Uh, we just gonna keep that thing rolling like that. Yeah, you know what I'm a lot of people don't shout out the engineers, man, but they the ones that bring the sound to life, man. Right. They don't shout out the engineers. It's time to shout out the engineers, man. And shout out, shout out to DJ Yodo, my partner player. You know what I'm saying? Yodo, Dodo, Dodo Dang, DJ Yodo. Shout out to DJ Remedy, man. He got a new, the new, the new Carolina DJ movement, the Ride with Remedy movement. Shout out to him too, man. Everybody making moves, man. We trying to get to this bread, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Mr. May, but we'll take that for the for the next time, man. When it get closer so, to man. So, so, but man, I appreciate you so much as always, bro. Uh, you got to be my first special guest on my new special podcast. This is uh, Coffee Conversations. It's a spinoff mm -hmm. of Coffee and Donuts, which has been doing oh, yeah. really good. Which I started that back in December. You know, we always trying to find a new, a new thing to get it, to keep ourselves involved. You know what I'm saying? Not get stagnated. So, oh yeah, definitely. You gotta, stay, you gotta stay hustling, man. This is Coffee Conversations. You know what I'm saying? I'm your most gracious host, Rudy P. My most special guest. 3D. 3D. Ooh. And we out here, man. Peace. Yeah.